fam, like Serenity with another reaction. So today we're going to be watching something a little bit special. I'm a WWE fan and SummerSlam is like this weekend, which I'm super excited about. Um, so I kind of miss this week's Raw. And as such, I figured why not watch the top 10 Raw moments and just bring you guys along with me. So I hope you guys are going to enjoy this one. And as always, if you're looking for full-length reactions to any of my other content, you can find that on Patreon, and the link will be in the description below. And if you cannot support us on Patreon, that's completely fine. You guys can support me on um, right on here by liking this video, commenting, subscribing, and joining our membership program. So without any further ado, let's get to some wrestling. All right, pressing play in three, two, one, play. The white set. Talk time. I'm not as religious as I used to be. I do miss some Raws and some now. Smackdowns, but I never miss a pay per view. Can Sheamus actually get Reed oh. up on his shoulders in for position from the second Damn. Reed way up high? Sheamus with noise. Oh, my Sheamus. Reed kicks oh. out. Dang it. And now Cross lifting Woods up. Woods, though. I love me some Woods. Lands on his feet, big kick in the face of Karrion Cross. And Woods, we're going to pull up a major win here tonight. Praying for Woods. Outnumbered, of course. Woo! Down goes Aiko of the AOP. And Razor <laughs> ran into the ring post. Uh -oh. And Cross runs into a big boot. Xavier Woods is telling the entire final test. Come on, he Woods. To this thing. Nobody's home. Way. And now we're going to take advantage of what was a numbers advantage with the Ooh. final prayer to Xavier Woods. Oh. I missed a new day. As in the three of them. Reed Brothers down Ooh. with a double team. A back suplex in stereo gives the Creed brothers the win. Man. The Creed brothers! Oh, you asshole. That was your friend, dude. Good on you, girl. Ooh. Ooh. Slap him in the face. Smack him. Oh, he doesn't have a smack. There you go. Good. Good. Holy hell. Maxine just slapped Chad Gable. The Bills got something cooking with Baszler and Stark here. The match control. I love the Bills gear. Hold the phone. Hey. Damage control! Sky and Kyrie! Damage control! And here we go with the brawls on! Ooh. And damage control! Ooh. Go in her head after Zoe and Shayna and Sonya Deville! Line them up, knock them down, says damage control! Neo Sky, top rope, the former women's champ! Ooh. Over the moonsault, Neo Sky wipe, wiping out Deville and Baszler and Stark! Control is back. I'm so excited for SummerSlam. Oh, Uso, scoop up. Manje. Carlito. Spin. Ooh. Yes. Yes. Main event, Jay Uso. <laughs> All right, Seamus. Done with a shillelagh. Done with a shillelagh. Knocking Seamus out. And nah, Reed man. Was caught up in the ropes. The official was trying to get him unhooked. Oh my God. Done attacked. Seamus. Oh my is out. God. I'm in pain. I'm in pain just looking Reed at it. This is a hit in the face. 
Mike Bella Montrealer. Breaker from behind. St. Paul is Sammy Zane. Breaker. Look at the smile on the face of the number one contender. Be there to cut up. Yes. Sammy with a boot. Breaker's down. I love Sammy. And ready for SummerSlam. And Breaker oh. gonna retreat. Come on. But that's you the punk. heart. That's the guts out of Sammy Zayn. Yee! Wide six. Oh, I love this. Are we gonna get to see Sister Abigail? Oh, oh Sister Abigail! Gable take it out! The Creed Brothers frozen in fear! And the Wyatt Six and the Creed Brothers now! Oh, I love this. Yeah, I love all the fireflies. Uncle Howdy. Oh, come on. <laughs> if either of you two get out of line, you got a problem with what I say, or my rules, or the way they call it, my match in my ring. I'm not some little referee <laughs> that you can just push around. No, I'm a spiteful little bastard. I and love I will put that your hands match in the dirt. shirt. <laughs> He's taking this referee, this special referee thing very seriously. If you hate him, you hate me. I don't want your help at all. I've never needed it. Ooh. I've never wanted Ooh. it, and I never want to listen. Punk, I think you're worrying about the wrong person right here. You should be worried about the six foot five, 280 pound man you've screwed over and over again. Yes, and that's a sick ass kill. I'm not as tall as you. I'm not as big as you. I'm probably not as fast as you, but you know what I got? I got heart. What do you got? <laughs> Take it from me, punk. <laughs> Ballers barely moved, was just coming to when Gunther went back on the attack. Ballers' consciousness uh -oh. made a decision for his body by just passing out, not being able to continue to fight. Uh oh. Damien Priest. And bring the world to the yep. Ring. Damien Priest. And there we go, Priest and, and got the brawling five nights away from Ooh. SummerSlam. Ooh. Damien's connected. Priest with the right hand. Got the rolls out of the ring, and the brawl is underway Ooh. again. These Don't two you guys get hurt now. The hell out of each other in yeah, got a match on this Saturday. It's been through the roof. Damn, damn, champion. damn. Ooh. The sickest scene Gunther do what he was doing to Finn Balor. Comes out here and just starts throwing bombs at Gunther. And now Gunther sent right over our announce table. By Damian Priest to the world champion now. Taking the fight to Gunther. Damn. Slower slam has come early. Priest unloading. Priest the proud damn. world champion. What did the prime bottle do to you? <laughs> oh, another great top 10. So for any of you guys who actually seen Raw this week, um, did the top 10 moments actually reflect the show or was it a dull show? I watched last week's um, Raw and I just found it a little bit dull. So compared to, sorry, not last week's Raw, last week's uh, SmackDown, and I found a little bit dull compared to what I'm used to when I watch a SmackDown um, 
show, even though the bloodline is still pretty, like it's still a thing and it's still very much something that I look forward to seeing and seeing how things evolve, especially with what we hear about Roman Reigns potentially coming back, which I can't wait because I miss him. Um, I can't wait to see how that's going to shift. Um, but I just felt like the matches that I, or the, the storylines that I saw were a little bit more on a dollar side. Um, I do enjoy the partnership with, um, with Jade and with, why can't I think of her name right now? Bianca Belair, geez, okay. I had I was singing the song in my head. I was like, I'm on my own against the wall. <laughs> um, but yes, so I love seeing their partnership and how that's growing and that storyline. Um, but it just felt dull. It just felt, I don't know if it was the crowd. It just felt like I could fast forward a little bit more than I normally do. Um, but Raw seems really good based on those clips. So I don't know. Let me guys, let me know, guys, if it was as good. And if it was, I'll try to see if I can catch a rerun before uh, SummerSlam on Saturday. And if you guys like this one, uh, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. That way I'll know that I should be doing um, the same thing for um, Friday's SmackDown, the one right before the the SummerSlam um, pay-per-view and uh, and I might even do highlights of SummerSlam if those uh, actually do come out and I'll be able to give a little bit more commentary on what I actually thought watching the matches live on TV. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And as I said before, if you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Mwah. Bye for now.